YouTube, Lola back again, and here is a completed video of my cross-stitch project I had shown previously. Long story short, I actually completed this cross-stitch project about a week ago and never made a video, so here it is. Um, I haven't named her yet, but she's kind of a grunge rock kind of look. I guess you can say, I'm not sure. Uh, she's wearing a studded bracelet as well as belt, bright green shirt, mini skirt, black shoes, multicolored pink hair. Love it. So, as I stated, I had already completed this one about a week ago, and I had already started a project. Um, so, let me go ahead and just show you part of that project. Uh, this here is actually uh, men's handkerchiefs. I just went to the department store, picked up a cheap package of uh, handkerchiefs. And I this is actually my second attempt at cross-stitching on fabric. My first attempt was the Game Over Mario. Didn't go over quite so well. Um, it still was usable, so I just gave it away to a family member and actually looked up how to cross-stitch on linen. Turns out no one really talks about how the hell they do it other than freehand. I wanted some more guidance, a grid to use. So, as you can see, very faintly, I have tacked on here the uh, fabric, or excuse me, they call it fabric. It's not really fabric. This here is a DMC soluble canvas. Here's the package here. I bought it at my local Hobby Lobby for $5.99. To be honest with you, I did not look at the size. Um, it's eight by eight and a half. It's actually not a lot of uh, canvas. As you can see, the package isn't that big. You only get one sheet and it's the size of this package. So whenever you go to Hobby Lobby, you're interested in doing this type of project. Um, the size of the package is exactly how much you get, so it better be a small project. Um, on the backhand side, it shows that uh, they give you a free pattern on the inside. It looks like some sort of sigil of some sort, uh, four or five different designs going on all at once. I didn't like it. I wasn't interested in doing it, but if you were, they supply all the DMC thread colors for you. But that is what I'm using for this project here. I trimmed out just a little bit. I bought two packages of this um, to make several of the Game Over Mario and whatnot handkerchiefs. Anyways, it's um, hard plastic. Well, I wouldn't say hard plastic. Uh, eh, close enough. I'll, I'll go with that. Anyways, you tack it on and you do your regular cross stitching. And then whenever you're ready to rock and roll, I believe you just... Uh, Dip it in warm water, kind of rub your fingers over it. I don't know, I think there's instructions in it. This is the first time using it, so uh, your guess is good as mine until I read it. And uh, I also looked into the actual waste fabric. It is an actual cotton fabric. This is a larger amount, not by much. And what it is is that you do the same process. You, you tack it onto your project. You cross-stitch your image on it. Then you dip it in water, and I believe the blue ones give way. I'm not 100% sure, like I said. Um, and you get like some tweezers and yank out the uh, the white the white threads, because so, they're kind of you know overlaying each other. It's a weave in a sense, so you got to pull out the uh, the weaving. And I thought that was a little too much trouble, so I went ahead and went with the DMC. Anyways, that's all I got going on for right now, and I'll probably make another video later tomorrow. Thanks for watching.